Welcome back. Let's talk supply chain issues. As we continue to see a spike in housing demand and commercial real estate, local builders are having a hard time getting concrete. Okay, got nine on your side. Danelle Confair joins us live in the newsroom with more on this shortage. Danelle. Pat Heidi, several concrete companies I spoke with say they've been put on allocation, meaning they're only getting a certain amount of concrete per week. Well, it's very difficult to get concrete in a timely way. And like this project in itself, I ordered the concrete two weeks ago and I got it two weeks later. With the many supply chain issues, concrete has been put in the mix, making it hard to meet growing demands for builders. Started about a month ago, and from what I understand, the ready mix concrete plants are on allocation, so they can't get as much cement to make concrete as they used to. So suddenly everybody's getting less concrete. From driver shortages to plants being shut down for maintenance or other issues, the problem seems to be a mixed bag. With Cal Portland allocating everybody, um, you, you can't get just whatever you want. You, you know, you have to you have to take your share like everybody is doing. Uh, so Cal Portland has uh, enough uh, inventory to uh, cover the companies that they sell to now uh, when they go to shut down and do the repairs that they're going to be doing. Making it harder to get concrete and leaving some out of work. In my field, there's like finishers that basically just place and finish concrete. And some of those guys also do setup work. And so we can keep them busy doing setup work. But at some point, if we can't get concrete, then we won't have enough work for the finishers. Now, many industry leaders that I spoke with say they think that this allocation will continue through the summer, but they hope that everything will resume as normal this fall. From the newsroom, Danelle Confair, Kagan 9 on your side. Danelle, thank you. And the shortage of concrete doesn't stop here in Arizona. Uh, that's right. It's been impacting construction industries across the nation. We talked with the president of a company in South Carolina today that makes ready mix concrete. Dan Crosby tells Kagan 9 the demand has far outweighed what they can supply. Sometimes we don't know if we're going to get that load of semen in or not. And for multiple reasons, the plant being shut down for scheduled maintenance, or we had a, there was a cement plant or cement company that had a terminal issue and we didn't get load from them for a week. So uh, it's just, it's, it's kind of unknown. Well, Crosby says he believes we are in the worst of the shortage and he hopes suppliers will be able to catch up in a few months.